want it to be. Said that's inheritance, not from skill. You know, everything Tariq had was from inheritance. What has Tariq built on his own that he didn't get from inheritance? What has Tariq built that he didn't get from inheritance? I'm going to go ahead and debunk all this right now. What has Tariq done that he didn't get from inheritance? I'm going I'm to wait because I, there's not going to be – you guys aren't going to give me any right answer. You guys aren't going to give me any – you're never going to get the right answer. What has Tariq done without his inheritance? Be real. Be real. The whole operation isn't from inheritance? Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, let me go ahead and debunk this for you guys real quick. Let me go ahead and debunk this, guys, for, for, for you all real quick. We, we talk about the operation. We talk about selling aspirin. What else? What else? What else has Tariq done on his own? Like, let's, let's be real. What hasn't, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to have to, we're going to have to dig. We're going to have to dig, you know what I'm saying? Peel back some layers and actually figure this out. We need to, we need to sit down and figure this out. Exactly, NL. If it wasn't for James St. Patrick paying for Stansfield, paying for Choke, Tariq would never have the opportunity to network. Tariq would never have the opportunity to run course correct, course perfect, all cap, no frap. If it wasn't for James St. Patrick setting up Tariq having to go to school, Tariq would be living with the two-bit, half-smart chicken head Tasha in some bum-ass apartment. James St. Patrick put Tariq in a situation to succeed, and James St. Patrick knew that Tariq was going to go to jail because he was going against everything that James asked for. That's why the letter was there. I knew you would end up in here, you stupid little nigga, because you wasn't listening. So if James never put Tariq in school, Tariq would never be able to run these operations. Tariq would never have the contacts that he has. He would never be able to move any of the drugs. Nothing that Tariq has done is on his own. James St. Patrick set this little nigga up. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. It's Monday mistakes and Tariq is mistaken because his father put the fucking work in. He killed his dad in order to get to where he is. Tariq wouldn't be a motherfucker if it wasn't for Jay St. Patrick. That is facts. Because when Tariq got kicked out of choke, how was he going to get accepted in the stands field? His fucking father had to pull the strings. If it wasn't for James, there is no Tariq. Tariq ain't better than James. Diana is a bigger boss and made more out of the opportunity that was provided to her by her family members. Tariq is a joke. Stern got him in because of what? Stern worked with James St. Patrick. James St. Patrick had to put that work in to get the relationship with Stern. Tariq didn't have that relationship with Stern. It came from James. It came from James. We talking about Tariq out here. Tariq wouldn't do shit if he didn't go to Stansfield. Where would Tariq be right now? Where would Tariq be right now if he didn't go to Stansfield? On the run with his snitching-ass mama who told on Tommy when he first went to Stansfield at the end of the season six when he killed his dad. If it wasn't for James, there is no Tariq. So Tariq has done zero without his inheritance. Facts. Facts. Stern pulled strings to get Tariq in Stansfield, correct? Who paid for Stansfield? James St. Patrick paid from it from the grave. It was in the will. James did it. The inheritance is the only reason Tariq is around. If not, he'd be on the run hiding from Tommy. Tommy would have threw his ass off the fucking roof. James St. Patrick put Tariq in a situation to succeed, and he blew it. Oh, it's no different than the Western Holdings. It's no different than Kane fucking up all the money in the Ponzi scheme. Diana is the only one that came out clean with legitimate assets. 
Tariq is over here begging Chindu for work. Man, I got a robust operation. Diana's sitting on M's. What are we talking about? Everybody forgetting that James has six seasons to put this shit together. Who put this together? Me. That's who. That's who. They trying to tell me Tariq is the new ghost. Nigga, you ain't even got a job. You ain't even got product. You begging for work, man. Chindu, please, man. Let me get in that. Let me in that rain, man. Get in the rain. Shut up, Tariq. You work for Diana now. Yeah, it's over with now. Yeah, the truth is coming out. Tariq ain't nothing without the backing of James paying for him to go to school. So, yeah, Diana got this from her mom. But what was Tariq going to school for the whole four years? Huh? Huh? Oh, to get everything that his dad had. How was he going to school? Oh, that's right. His dad was paying for it. Stern put in the word to get him in there because we knew that Tariq had a troubled past because of who? Effie. Effie had told on him. See? So if it wasn't for James, there would be no Tariq. And to this day, Tariq was still on the college campus. Did we forget? Did we forget this scene right here? Did we forget this scene right here? Where, where, where's Tariq at right now, y'all? Where's Tariq at right now? Someone, someone tell me, someone tell me where Tariq is right now. Where's Tariq standing at right here? Where's Tariq at standing right here? Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Court. Someone understands. Someone understands the the foundation that I have laid. The only reason Stern got reek into Stansfield is because what Tasha promised Club Truth to Stern. Club Truth was James St. Patrick's, which was Tariq's inheritance. If it wasn't for James' inheritance that he left for this knucklehead Tariq and his two-bit, half-smart, chicken-head mama Tasha, there would be no operation. Oh, my. Ooh-wee. It's the Monday. We cooking now. <laughs> we cooking now. And what was, Anthony, what was Club Truth? Was Club Truth in the inheritance or not? Was Club Truth in it? Someone tell me, was Club, it's just yes or no. I, I, don't want no. I don't want no explanation. Was Club Truth in the inheritance? Yes or no? Club Truth, inheritance. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. So, so, okay. We gave up club truth. We gave up club truth to get into Stansfield. Well, to get the worry for Stansfield, but so club truth inheritance, James St. Patrick playing for, for Stansfield was the QCP in the inheritance. Just yes or no was QCP in the inheritance. Yes or no. Was the QCP in there? That's the Queen Child Project. This the Queen Child Project is a project that never went through, but it was for uh Raina when Raina got into grown folks' business and Ray Ray had a chee -chee, pow, pow, get her out of here. Oh, so the QCP was in the inheritance. How did Tariq get RSJ to work with him? How did Tariq get RSJ to work with him? Because y'all talking about Tariq did this shit on his own. How did how did Tariq get RSJ? It's three letters. Put the three letters that got RSJ to come and fuck with the Westons. What was it? What's the three letters? What's the three letters? It's three letters that got RSJ to come fuck with the Westons. QCP, inheritance. Y'all haven't showed me one thing Tariq hasn't done that it didn't tie directly back to James St. Patrick putting in work for six freaking seasons for this little nigga to oh, send him to Chicago and you're not going to get knocked. Y'all haven't proven anything that Tariq has done 
without his inheritance. He had to leverage everything in order to get to nowhere. He has nothing right now. And he had everything. Now, Diana had nothing and she has everything. So if we're saying that Tariq was such a big bad guy better than Ghost, that means Diana is better than Ghost because she came up from nothing and in the end, she got everything. But Tariq had everything and lost everything. No difference than Kane. We call Kane stupid for losing all the money when he invested it in goddamn the Western Holdings. But why is it that when Tariq lost the QCP, he lost Club True, he lost the goddamn inheritance because he didn't graduate from school, Tariq is somehow magically better than James St. Patrick? Wait, what kind of logic is this? Yeah, we fuck with Tariq. That's our favorite character. Yeah, Tariq. But that nigga ain't better than James. Diana's better than Tariq. Yeah. Yeah. See? Don't, don't let, don't let these other channels, Brillo, don't let these other channels Fool you and think that grandson is the really the grandson. No, nigga. I expose the truth over here. I expose the truth over here. What up, coach? You know it. You know it. So again, we started off at Stansfield. We still see Tariq at Stansfield off of his father's tuition. Tariq ain't did nothing without his inheritance. He ain't did nothing but lose it. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Ego I mean, brother. <laughs> if James was alive right now, you know, you know what James would be saying to Tariq right now. You owe me some money, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you owe me some money, nigga. I want reimbursement for four years of school, nigga. I want Club Troop back, nigga. I want the QCP back, nigga. I want it all back, nigga. You owe me some money, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, QJ said this slander is getting out of control. Yeah, it's out of control, all right. Just like the whole interest, uh, not the interest, the whole inheritance is out of Tariq's control. Yeah, this ain't slander. This is facts. This is facts. Yeah, yeah, see, see, some people call it pocket watching. Me, I call it keeping up with the St. Patrick's. Would it? Hold on, hold on. Would it? Uh, what, what, what did Kane call him? Tariq scam Patrick. All Tariq has been doing is scamming. Tariq ain't been making no boss move at the end of every single season for four years straight. Tariq has started back over with zero. In each season, he loses more and more and more of the inheritance. Now we're at ground zero again, begging from work from Chindu. I got a robust operation, but you ain't got no product, nigga. So what kind of everybody's talking about? Well, Diana, you know, she could get back in the game. At least Diana got assets. So let me ask you this. Would you rather be a college student that had everything or a college student that has everything? Because Diana could sell off some shit. She could sell the Diana could sell the penthouse. Penthouse maybe four or five million dollars easy. Now I'm I'm sitting on five M's. I ain't gotta do nothing the rest of my life. I could do a little bit of investment. I could put up two hundred thousand dollars and then put that into some ETFs, and then I can make two thousand dollars a month off of dividends. Boom! That two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, it may not seem like a lot now, but that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months. Twelve times one, two, 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 three, four, five. That's what what twenty four. Okay, that's twenty four thousand dollars right there. I could bring that in, and then if I either sell the condo, that'd be four million dollars. And I then took that two hundred thousand. I let that take me down to three point eight. Three point eight. I could probably put up three M's. Now I could probably put a uh, hundred thousand into the bar. I could actually rent the bar out to somebody else. Boom, bring some money in off of that. Hey, Davis, I know you usually charge about five hundred thousand. Can you go on probate? I want to get the hangar. I want to get the plane. I want to get the cars out there. And then what we're gonna do? We're gonna rent those cars out because this is New York City. Everybody's a baller out here. Now we got the plane, just the same way that Noma was doing. Hey. Um, 
Exactly. Whenever Kane gets situated, because remember, Kane did call Diana. Hey, how do you know? What do you know about that operation that Norman was pulling with that plane? Because I just got the plane out of uh out of probate. Oh, yeah, you can set it up like this. Actually, this is a person you need to contact. Now, Diana got a whole plane running out. She's on some Diddy shit, but without the freaky shit. You know what I mean? Now, what are we doing with Tariq? Hey, you got to manage the fight club. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Look, 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 look at QJ. Shout out to QJ. Tariq can marry Diana and take everything. Look. That's how down bad Tariq really is right now. We're talking about how can this... He's trying to pull a cane on Diana. How Kane tried to get with Noma. We thought he was going to like pull everything from her. They talking about Tariq need to marry Diana and take everything. Wait wait a minute. I thought I thought Tariq St. Patrick was be, uh, better than James. James had a, a club, a penthouse. He had a QCP. What Tariq got? Why Tariq got a steal from Diana? <laughs> I thought Tariq, I thought Tariq was the boss man. Ball man, ball man. Yeah, that me. I thought Tariq was the big dog. Nah, Tariq making mistakes. It's full season. It's Monday mistakes. It's the last one we get till we see Tariq in the spinoff. Tariq, we need you to come to the stand and we need you to answer for all the bullshit you've been doing for four years. Where's the QCP? Where is RSJ? Where is Club Truth? Where is your degree? Where is anything to show us that in four years you have accomplished something come on Tariq come on Tariq we waiting we waiting comparing a grown man to a 20 year old is a joke uh a 20 year old is a grown man Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We not see. Thank you guys. You guys, I got it. Don't worry about it. Give me a second. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into my archives. Don't worry about it. We're here now. We are here now. What did what did Tariq say right here? What was what was Tariq's last words? What was Tariq's last words? Somebody answer that for me. What was Tariq's last words right here? What was Tariq's last words right here? You'll never see me. Why? Oh, so so we're not comparing Tariq to a uh, to. Uh, to a, a grown ass man, Tariq is comparing himself to a grown ass man. Let me see something else. I'm not like my dad. I'm smarter than him, better than him. Wait, did 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 I say this or did Tariq say this? Hold on, I told you, don't let me go in the archive. I got shit sitting around just waiting. I've been waiting for this moment for four years. Y'all told me this nigga is better than ghosts, but now we saying we can't compare this nigga to ghosts. But what does he say right here? Not like my dad. I'm smarter than him, better than him. Oh, so, so this grown man Tariq, then he's smarter than Ghost. He's better than Ghost. Matter of fact, not only did he say that, not only did he say that. Guess who? Guess what? Guess what else he said? He told us a bold faced lie and told us that the mastermind was Tasha St. Patrick. Wait a minute. So you guys are telling me that. The 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 twenty the twenty year old grown ass man who's in the dope game, who's making million dollar plays, we can't compare him to Ghost when he told us he was better and smarter than Ghost. But in reality, he couldn't do shit if Ghost didn't put him in the uh, the position to win. But now he ain't even winning. He's back to ground zero. Wait a minute. Hold. On, let me hear what Tariq said one more time. Cause maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm not like my dad. I'm smarter than him. No, 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 no. That ain't enough. That ain't enough. That ain't enough. That was back in season one. That ain't enough. Give me, give me, give me a second. We going there tonight. No, 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 no. See? See what y'all did? 
But that's the thing, Monica. What has he accomplished? What has Tariq accomplished besides losing a million dollar club, losing the project, losing the penthouse? What has Tariq accomplished? He hasn't even finished school. Tariq, Tariq wouldn't even be in this situation if James didn't pay for Stansfield. James could have let Tariq go live with his mama in that BS apartment. But let's continue on. Hold on. I got some more. I got some more in the tank. We got this back here. What has Tariq accomplished? That's what we're trying to get at. What has he accomplished on his own? What's up, fam? It's Fat Joe. Not tonight, Fat Joe. Not tonight. Before you go. Was it Ghost? Uh, let me see. <laughs> twenty year, you know what twenty year old Ghost was doing? Because if, if we gonna if we gonna compare what twenty year old Tariq was doing with twenty year old Ghost. That's what we doing. That's a, that wait. That's what that's what y'all want to do. Y'all want to compare twenty year old ghost to twenty year old Tariq? Twenty year old ghost, twenty year old Tariq. Twenty-year-old ghost, we know what ghost was doing. He was fucking ghost, right? Ghost's trajectory only went up. How do we have a whole spinoff? That's because at twenty, when they got Kanan up out of here, when they got Kanan up out of here and told on him, James started to skyrocket. We know what twenty-year-old ghost was doing. Twenty-year-old ghost was in the game. Twenty-year-old ghost was the man. Kanan even told Tariq that at twenty years old, game was. Ooh, Tommy even said James was the fucking man. We know what 20-year-old Ghost was doing. 20-year-old Ghost was out here getting it. What are we talking about? Even Tasha was like, your daddy, your daddy was different, Tariq. And what did Tariq say when he went over to the house for the first time? I'm not like my dad. I can figure it out, ma. It's going to be all right. And in reality, it's not all right because now we're back at zero and we lost the whole inheritance. Tasha was so excited. Oh, Tariq, you're finishing school? Tariq said, no, I'm getting back in the game. How is Tariq better than ghosts? Yeah, Kanan told Tariq he's better than him as a teenager. We're talking to, see, now you guys are moving the goalposts. First you say 20-year-old Tariq versus a grown man. Now we're saying teenager. Are we doing 20-year-old ghosts when Kanan was locked up and Ghost was on the rise? Or are we doing teenage ghosts who was just learning the game, who didn't have any big figures in front of them except for Kanan? Because if that's the case, if that's the case, let me know. Because we got origin dropping, and we can revisit this, and we can see where Ghost was at the age of 20. Because remember, they were only like 30 years old. They were like 30, I think. I think uh, in 14, I think they were like 31, 32 or something like that. No, they couldn't be 31, 32. Tariq was what, 14? So even if we put 20 years on that, thirty about 34, 35. Yeah, we probably say about 35. I'm gonna see. Well, I probably have it on the uh uh let me see. James is born in 1980. So 2014, James was what, 34? James was 34, unalived at 39. Oh, yeah, we got the whole timeline here, man. It's the whole power universe, you know what I mean? If you're new to the channel, 
hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. One day it took us two hours, but we pieced together basically all the main characters roughly on the information we had to when they were born. Yeah, so 2019, James was unalived at 39 years old. So when the 2000s, 2000 is when James was what, 20? I'm trying to think what happened in 2008. Diamond went to jail. Jannar took over the end. So let me see. When did Kane, when did we say Kanan went to jail? Kanan died at 43. 92, he was 16. So that means. In 2000, Kanan was 24. Kanan was 24 and James was 20. Well, 20, like 8, 19, 20 ish. I don't know. We'll see. I like the show, though, man. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. I'm not like my dad. I'm smarter than him. Better than him. I ain't gonna lie though. If you really think back when the um when the series first started, we like, oh shit. This is about to be good. I, I like what they did. I want to see how they're gonna do these spin-offs though, to be honest with you. Ghost never had a whole task force under his thumb like Tariq did. I mean, what task force did Tariq have under his thumb? I know we're not talking about Don Carter because Don Carter whooped Tariq's ass. <laughs> Oh man, no. Nico, the only reason Nico works for Tariq is because of the Tejadas. Drew was the one that got Nico to convert. Y'all making it seem like Tariq went down there. Drew was the one that did that, and it was set up by Kane and Noma. So, yeah, now Nico works for him. But y'all forget that this nigga, this nigga had Angela up under him. Angela held it down for a little bit. He did have, well, Tariq had more of Tate. Well, I don't, I don't know. Him and him and Tate, their relationship was kind of like mutual. They both played off of each other. You know what I mean? I did like I liked uh, Tariq and Tate's relationship. Whenever they were on screen together, I knew we was gonna get something good. So that was that was that was always good because Tate and uh, Tate and Ghost they used to always clash. With Tariq and Tate, it was like all right, you know what I'm saying? There's a little, there's a little. All right, you you can do something, I can do something. We could we could make this happen, but don't cross me. With James and Tate, it was just always them going at each other. Like when they set up the robbery, and Tate gave <laughs> Tate got the gun. Damn, that's some good times, man. I wish they would have showed Tate more, though, to be honest. 